Yet another reason why dogs are known to be man's best friend. Some Valley doctors say canines could be the key to unlocking better treatments and possibly the cure for diseases that affect millions each year. Meet dog. Molly, right. Sophie, and Dreamer, three different breeds of dogs, all undergoing the same experience, chemotherapy treatment for cancer. Over the last decade, we've definitely in general seen a lot more dogs with cancer. About 50% over 10 years will develop some kind of cancer. At this point, the rate is higher than most people. Molly has been getting chemo treatment for nearly 10 months at Arizona Veterinary Oncology in Scottsdale. She has a bladder tumor, and while her tumor has shrunk, Molly's primary veterinarian, Dr. Rachel Venable, says Molly's tumor is in an area they cannot surgically remove. So doctors are looking at conducting new clinical studies to treat dogs like Molly and eventually possibly humans. Genomic Research Institute TGen in downtown Phoenix suggests dogs with naturally occurring cancers be integrated into these clinical trials. Dogs and humans have a great degree of genetic similarity that enables us to transfer knowledge across species. William Hendricks is an assistant professor at TGen specializing in canine cancer studies. He says dogs make great models for understanding human cancers because their cancers develop similarly and they live in the same environment as humans. The Research Institute has been collecting the genetic information of dogs, both healthy and those diagnosed with cancer, since 2010. More recently, researchers are using liquid biopsies to collect DNA samples from canines via blood, saliva, and urine, which allows researchers to pinpoint the genetic mutation in a dog's cancerous DNA in hopes of finding more precise forms of treatment. And in terms of new drugs, TGen's president says he's looking closely at the nearly 800 cancer treatments moving towards clinical trial for humans. Really what we also wonder is whether some of those uh, new drugs, those new targeted opportunities to treat cancer could be helpful for our canine patients as well. Venable sees 30 to 45 patients each week. She says the rise in canine cancer diagnoses has a lot to do with people taking better care of their dogs. And so they're living longer and the chances of getting cancer goes up, just as it does with people. Like most dogs going through chemo, Molly hasn't lost her fur or even her energy. Chemotherapy in people is an incredibly tough thing. You know, there's a, a lot of side effects that the challenges with it are very difficult but in dogs, they actually do extremely well. Most of the time, you would never know a dog was on chemotherapy. Molly's owner says she's focused on her Scottish Terrier's quality of life. We were just going to make the best of every day. If that meant we're going to go on rides, we're going to go on overnights, we're just going to spend lots of time. And that's what doctors are focused on, too, giving their patients, canine and human, extra quality time. In Scottsdale, Alexa Solari, Cronkite News.